Hello, this is Mrs. John, and this is a quick tutorial on calculating work using area under the curve method given the force versus displacement graph. So let's look at this problem. So you have a graph of force versus displacement. Um, the problem says calculate the work done by the force to cause a displacement of 10 meters. So we are only looking at the work done by the force for 10 meters displacement. So the area under the curve would be this, okay? So if you look at this, um, it looks like a square, but because the scale is not the same, we're gonna call this a quadrilateral. So to calculate the work you have to calculate the area of the quadrilateral. In this case, work is equal to length times width, where the length is 100 and the, the width is 10 over here. So the work done is equal to 1,000 meters, Newton meters, or 1,000 joules. Now let's look at another problem. This is the same graph. This time, the problem says, calculate the work done by the force to cause a displacement of 30 meters. So if you look here from zero to 30, you have um, an irregularly shaped object. So we're going to, to divide it into two area. So this is the first area. It's another quadrilateral. And this is the second area of um, this graph under the, under the curve. So to calculate the first area or the area of the quadrilateral, it is length times width, and the length is 100, and the width is 20. So work um, on the first area is 2,000 Newton meters or 2,000 joules. Now let's look at the next area. <clears throat> so this area is uh, a shape of a triangle. So W2 or work for uh, area number two is the area of a triangle, which is one half base times height. So um, work for area two is one half and your base is from only from 20 to 30. So when you are given this kind of um, reading, you subtract final minus initial. So 30 minus 20 is here. And then your height is the same, it's 100. So one half times 10 from 30 minus 20 times 100 is equal to 500 Newton meters or 500 joules. So you have calculated the area under the quadrilateral and the area under the triangle. To find the total work, you simply add the two area. So 2000 joules plus 500 joules is equal to 2500 Newton meters or joules. Let's just say this. Okay. So I hope this helps. Bye.